Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tea Time. Uh, we are watching Euphoria every week, every Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We drop videos, so make sure you subscribe. We're going to do a little bit of a breakdown here and some predictions. So, here we go. I liked her the way she was. Mm. Oh, God. I heard. The longer you lose, <laughs> you don't know her. I heard this was gonna be a dark. best. No, I, dark, but Start the best episode yet this season. Ooh, I'm excited. The things that don't feel good mm. don't feel as bad anymore. I don't like that woman. That woman from day one, I was like, I don't trust her. I don't like her. I just. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It kind of looks like Lexi a little bit, like an old version <laughs> of Lexi. <laughs> She does look like Lexi a little bit, um, well, but all right. Oh so God. you already said, so this is supposed to be the darkest episode. One of the best episodes, apparently this dude's talking about, I don't like Rue the way she was. You don't even know Rue. I'm so sick of Elliot. I don't want to see him anymore. Bro, you only known her for what? A week uh, or so? Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like a hot minute. Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Bye. Um, so the big question everyone's asking, do you think Rue is dead? Or do you think she is still alive? So someone pointed out that, and I and I saw this too, that Jules ended up narrating at the end of episode four. Mm -hmm. So does that symbolize that she's taking over? Where did Rue go? Does that mean Rue's dead because she's not the narrator anymore? I kind of feel personally, I don't think Rue is dead. I think... I mean, you know my big theory that I think Sam Levinson is Rue. There was a quote I saw from Sam Levinson where he's talking about his life and stuff. And Sam Levinson said, I was a drug addict and I'd take anything, everything until I couldn't hear or breathe or feel. Somewhere around the age of 16, I resigned myself to the idea that drugs could kill me and there was no reason to fight it. I would just let it take me over and I'd make peace with that. So we obviously know he recovered because he's made the show he's gone on to have some success mm -hmm. and i think that he uses rue as that character that vessel to tell the story and i truly believe that he's going to show us like the light and i don't know if this is the moment where rue goes oh my god but i don't think she's quite dead yet i think she's overdosed um i don't think in the end that she's going to die either i think this is her kind of telling the story of what happened Mm -hmm. uh, the, the phrase euphoria anyways is like, you know, a euphoric idea. It's this grander, big idea. So, I mean, maybe she has that eureka moment and that was the euphoria. Maybe. Okay. Um, so that's where I am. Uh, based on this trailer and, you know, what you said about Jules, uh, that's also interesting because as Rue gets more and more high throughout these episodes, you see that they get more chaotic, messy. The storytelling is all over the place. Mm -hmm. And... It will be interesting if they make Jules an area the next episode, but I, I don't think she's going <laughs> to die. I really don't. I don't think she's going to die just because we've seen in other promos that she's alive, or mm -hmm. at least it seems like she's alive, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Could be flashbacks. Uh, I, I, I find it really interesting when shows do take that, like, per, that, that turn of, like, making a character in charge of an episode you know like yeah. maybe Jules will be next i don't know maybe cassie will be afterwards or maddie like yeah. i love when they do sh when they do stuff like that because you kind of just see the inside of their mind yeah because rue is an unreliable narrator like we can't trust a thing that she says so that's why <laughs> and like we brought up with the whole cal jacobs thing like this whole time we thought cal is just in a uh, disgusting horrible person and like i said like he does bad things, but like Rue doesn't know about those other layers, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, we mm -hmm. do know that, but we've always been kind of had the perspective of Cal's just an evil, mean, nasty dad. Um, so, and, and you also mentioned too, like in Degrassi, Skins, these other shows, there's next generations, there's other people who take over. So that would be kind of a cool concept. What do you think about this lady and the drugs and Fez, like in all that? Like, where do you think that's heading? bad <laughs> <laughs> um 
I just feel like Rue's gonna get in some deep trouble with this with this lady, and I don't know how. I feel like, like you mentioned, like she's probably gonna have a eureka, like, yeah. oh my god, what am I doing? Like this this needs to stop. Yeah. And then tells the lady, like, I can't do this. Lady finds out, and then she's like, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm, you're gonna yeah. repay. <laughs> right. But she down those six pills. I was like, girl. That's about twelve hundred dollars there. What are you doing, like? Right. Uh, I'm like, I was stressed because of the money. And I just can't imagine. Like the woman seems so like not innocent, but like doesn't seem like she could. Like just first look doesn't seem like she could like kill someone, but like her attitude, no. her tone, her yeah. experience probably she probably could in a heartbeat. <laughs> Yeah, Rue's gonna have to call up Lending Tree or something to get some help because she's gonna need a loan. She's gonna need a loan. I did see another like promo for next week on TikTok, and mm -hmm. it showed a clip of Maddie holding a disc. Interesting. So, I didn't see that one. I did not see that one. I don't know where that's heading because we know that she has it, and we know Nate and Cal are like. I don't know, like, where is it? I don't know, like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, who, who, where is it? Um, but I don't know what Maddie's gonna do with it. Like, that's a, that's a thought that keeps going in my head, because, like, it's, yeah. it's not like it's against, like, Jules or anything, it's more against Nate, that if she wanted to expose him, that would be it. Um, right. But it's also just, like, Nate's not even in the video, it's Cal and Jules, so it's like, uh... Right. That's why I'm kind of like, I don't know, like, how they're going to really approach that. So I think the whole tape thing is going to come back up. And I think Cal, we haven't seen the last of Cal. There's going to be some type of stuff that's going on with that, even though it's kind of, like, deaded. But I don't really know what's going to happen with that CD. Like, that's something I really, really cannot predict. Like, I don't have any clue where they're going with that. Um, but maybe Maddie kind of uses it over Nate to get what she wants, which again, I don't really know what she would want from him because at this point it's just like, I'm over it, you know? So I, I don't know what's gonna happen with that tape. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know either. Uh, guess we'll find out soon, hopefully. Let's buckle up for next week um, and just hope for the best. Yeah, I mean, it, this, it, they're definitely heating up Euphoria, and, and we have four more episodes. I'm very excited. Make sure you guys subscribe. Comment below what you thought about it. Uh, what do you think is going to happen next? What are some of your predictions and theories? Comment below, and maybe we can feature one of your comments here. But all right, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back next Tuesday and Wednesday.